Here we are in Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud 2015.5 and we're going to make a very simple watermark slash logo so that you can use it on your photos if you wish to do so. So I'm going to open up Photoshop, click on new, and then I'm just going to come in here. The pixel, the size really doesn't matter at the moment. So this size is fine. 72 pixels per inch is fine. I do want this transparency set so that the background is empty. I do need to name the file. We'll call it watermark and then click on OK. So we have watermark set up for us and we're going to grab a text box and we'll need to locate the text tool and I'll just choose something that we can see. Now your logo doesn't have to be black, it doesn't have to be white, it can be whatever color you would like and then you know we can always modify that or adjust it. So in this case let's just say I want to put photography by and my name and you can always change your typeface to be something else and in this case I don't know I kind of like it so I realize that it's too big for the space that it's in and if I I hit the text or if you hit the T button on your keyboard it will give you this text panel. If you go three clicks on one of the rows it will highlight that row and so let's change this down to 100. Oh, except I didn't get all of it. So let's try that again. Click it all the way. 100. Oh, except I have 199. Good job. So I changed this size to be 100, and then this is still at 125. So now I can select the Move tool, and it's a lot better to deal with. Now something else that I also will need to do is to crop the image so that it's not got so much white space on either side. And so I'll just drag this down a little bit. And notice I'm not coming right up against it, not even right here. I want it to have a little bit of breathing room all the way around. And given how we're going to put things together in a later video, I'm going to go ahead and show you something that we haven't really done before in regards to logos. And before I do that, um, say this is exactly what I wanted and uh, in this case, I probably would like to change the color. And so I'm going to click on the whole thing, uh, select all, change this from black to white, and hit OK. And so I have my logo, or watermark, whatever you want to call it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a box around this. Now, typically, you don't have to do this, but if you're going to put this logo on multiple documents at the same time, say you have 100 or 200 pictures that you want to upload, but you want to put your logo or watermark on all of them and you don't want to do it individually, you want to do it to each one of them in a batch process, this is going to help you do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this triple bar down here and we're going to locate the rectangle tool. And I'm going to leave the fill to none. The stroke is at 0.25. And I'm going to go ahead and draw this out on our page. And so if I zoom in, we can see where this is located all the way around our image. Now we are going to go over here and adjust the opacity to one. That's right, just the number one. I want this to be barely visible at all. I've made this watermark. I'm going to say file, save as. Now to me it's always a good idea to save your PSD file. 
That way, if you ever need to go back and make any modifications, you can. And so I'm going to save this out onto an external hard drive. And this is going into a video that I'm working on for watermarking for later. And so this is my watermark PSD file, Photoshop. I'm going to save that and then just hit OK. Now, the other thing that I can do is I can say File, Save As. And now I can also change this and save it as a PNG file and then hit save. And I'm going to have it. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to interlace it. I'm just going to hit OK. And so what this is going to do is allow us to have a gap between the end of the image and the end of the image here on any side so that we can make sure that it doesn't touch the sides when we use this as a watermark later.